So for the project today, I decided to make homemade instruments that I could make with my students in the classroom. I made a homemade kazoo and a homemade tambourine. With the tambourine, the students will need two paper plates. You can bring these from home or have it on a supply list. You'll also need beads or beans or popcorn kernels or any type of thing that you can put in between the two plates that'll make sound when the children hit the plates together. You're then going to take one of the paper plates and you're gonna put it on top of the other paper plate like so. You're then going to either tape or staple the two plates together. I prefer to use the stapler just because it's quicker. Depending on the age group of the children though, you may need to help them with stapling the plates together. Um, taping can sometimes be a little bit more complicated or more wasteful, it depends on what you wanna use it for. You wanna make sure that you're able to hit the plates together without any of the items falling out. You can then have the children draw, draw different patterns on their plates, like so. It could be patterns that they want, or if you want to assign them a certain pattern to do, you can do that. If you're trying to teach them about line or pattern, like I'm drawing in the plates here, different line patterns. You can have them do triangles or circles to teach them about shapes. It's a great lesson if you're trying to take into the art elements. I then used acrylic paints, different acrylic paints. I used white, red, and blue, and I used a paint tray, and I actually mixed the blue and red to make purple, red with white to make pink, and blue with white to make light blue. This is a great way for the children to learn how mixing colors can make other colors. You can then have them paint their paper plates, any colors that they want, using the colors that they mixed. like so. This also helps them with coordination of staying in the lines while painting or coloring, which is nice. You can have them continue like so. Then you can also use tissue paper. You can have them use Elmer's glue or any type of glue to glue on little pieces of tissue paper to their tambourine. Not only does this add a uniqueness to this ta their tambourine, but it also adds texture. This can be nice for them to feel, just to get a different vibe on their paper plate tambourine. You can wet it to get it to stick better on top of the glue. You can see here that you have your paper plate tambourine. I will now show you guys how to make the kazoo. For this, you need wax paper, a rubber band, scissors, which you'll use with a sharp point, and a paper towel or toilet paper roll. You're going to cut the wax paper into a square. You will then place the square wax paper on the top of the toilet paper roll and you'll use the rubber band to secure it into place. You'll then take the sharp point of your scissors, you will need to do this part, not the students, um, and poke a hole in the toilet paper roll. You can use scissors or anything sharp that's able to poke the hole. Just be careful while doing this because you do not want to stab your hand. You can make as many holes as you want. These are what the children will cover with their finger while blowing into the end. With this, I chose to make three holes. You can then use the paint that you used previously for your tambourine or a new paint um, to decorate your homemade kazoo now. Once again, I'm using different line patterns to help the children learn the different elements of art. different patterns. You can use dots, squiggles, circles, dashes. Anything that you want to recommend to the children will work or anything that they want to do will work. They then will blow into the end while covering one of the holes which will produce the sound that a kazoo makes. And there you have your homemade tambourine and kazoo.